one of our favorite hunters is Todd. He's uh, he's found a travel corridor between a feeding and bedding area, and he hunts one tree, and he's been here three or four years and kills a buck the first day or two he hunts. And we've got clients that come in that hunt the same piece of property, you know, same time every year, and all have success, take home good bucks every year. And it's just one of those deals you find a sweet spot, and like Todd's, he hunts the same tree and same little draw. It's just one of those deals you find it, you stick with it. Man, I really like this stand. My brother was on here a couple days ago. He seen a nice 10 point, and never got a shot at him, so I'd like to have him come through on me. Mike, there's a, there's a deer on the line. I had to dig up some chest waders. We we uh, started tracking this deer last night, and uh, we uh, come right up to a known bedding area. So we let it go, and um, we're gonna go in this morning and see if we can't find any blood and, and hopefully find our my deer. So let's just uh, see what goes on. Jeez, oh geez. Hang on. <laughs> size extra small. <laughs> or size extra big. <laughs> that work. I might actually take 10 pounds off this off the camera. <laughs> Boy, for as big a corn state as Illinois is, I think they'd grow bigger boys. <laughs> Give you a hand. <laughs> Making sausage. Hey Mike, do these waiters make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's your face. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, it's go time. I'm finally in these waiters, so the good thing is they're not gonna slide off of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is definitely the trail. We found a little more blood here, so we're starting on fresh blood that we hadn't seen last night. So anyway, um, one thing that we can't stress enough, enough is if if you think you got a deer hit far back, you got to give them plenty of time. And even if there's rain, sometimes you just gotta you know pray for the best to happen. So. You know, we found this. It's our fresh blood. This is where we're going to start. So, um, 
but it's just little stuff like this that can make all the difference in the world. He's run up this trail I've bleached in there. Hey, is that a deer body up there? It is, we got him, we got him. Man, that's a good one. What a dandy buck, Todd. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew he'd be here. He just bedded uh, up. Nice buck, man. That's three years running for you, dude. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you what. You know, persistence pays off, and we just, last, <laughs> last night we got in a few little arguments about which way he's going and what he's doing, but, you know, it's... It's high stress, and this is a, a tough business, and but this right here makes every bit of it worth it. Man, it's a good deer. Good deer. Hey, you can't see that everything through binoculars. <laughs> when you're shaking all over. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, one nice thing is these babies drag out nice in this jet sled because it's like a boat. <laughs> Man, Todd, that's another great buck. Well, some people are just lucky. <laughs> Glad it's me. <laughs> For Monster Whitetail Hunt Club contact info, visit huntersvideos.com today.